This episode has a ton of fumbles, blunders, and miscalculations by yours truly, but it also has some pretty interesting methods I used in order to progress the account that I, I, I didn't find on a guide anywhere, I just ended up doing it. That being said, by the end of the video, I end up putting the fate of my hardcore status in your guys' hands. If you would like to be involved in that, watch to the end or skip to the end. Either way, I don't really care. But regardless, this was a fun video to make. So, enjoy. Alright, we're starting off this episode after a nice little AFK grind. Two days later, because I was AFKing while I was editing. I got some logs. I went and got like 10k more GP from the chests. The plan right now is to go get my magic up a little bit and my range. I'd like to get my range up so I could wield the bone crossbow because it's just cheap to sustain. And it's a decent weapon, especially at these low levels. All right, we spent 10k on runes and arrows, and I'm going to go train my range at Wizard Tower. And then I'm going to be going to Hill Giants on Karend, I think, to train my mage because I have a chance to get a cosmic rune there. And I just like to make uh, my ring of magic. So that's the plan. We still got money left over and we're going to go do some AFK. Holy cow. Finally, I have been going dry. It's like I finally got one of these wizard robes. I've gotten 51 kills without getting it. It's a one in 18 drop and I'm, I'm complaining about going dry, but it, it feels weird taking 50 kills to get a one in 18. Blood runes are a 1 in 128, and I got those before I got wizard robes. Crazy. Okay, well, I'm super close to my next level, so we're going to get that. And then we're going to go by the crossbow, and then we're going to probably go get a little bit more food and go safe spot giants. All right, that's uh, our current best in slot for range. I'll be training my defense with my magic at hill giants. And hopefully we can just get a cosmic rune. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my goodness. Whoa, where, was, where do I think I'm going? Gonna go get the Zami robes. Gonna go to hill giants. Train my defense and my magic. Get some cosmic runes. Enchant. Make a amulet of magic. Might as well take that with me while I go there. Well, I'm stupid. I'm not going to be doing that because I don't have telekinetic grab unlock because I'm not 33 magic. So we're just going to go straight to Hill Giants and we're just going to wear the gear that I got. Not having to do her end favor is such a fucking blessing. All right, we're going to save spot him. AFK, so. Ooh! All right, now we're going to save spot him. I'll check in in a little while. Well, I'm back at the bank. All right, I got a handful of magic levels and a handful of defense levels, handful of range levels, but I want to do the feud so I can unlock Ali Morrison's rune shop. I think that would just be helpful. And you get a bunch of thieving XP, so. We're going to go do that. Um, all right. I'm trying to figure out how to save spot this guy. I, 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 I don't, I don't know how, um, I'm hoping I can figure it out though. I think I got it. As long as I can shoot over this chair. Nice. All right. I didn't kill him fast enough, but that was probably because I was searching for a safe spot the whole time. So let's bring him around again. Let's try this one more time. There we go. All right. <laughs> Attempt number two. An adamant simmy? Whoa! Whoa! That's huge! That's awesome! No way, what's the drop rate on that? Oh. It... It's every time. Not not as exciting as I, as, as, as I thought it would be. I was hoping it'd be like a 1 in 128 or something. So I finished the quest. 41 thieving. Kind of nice. Now I'm going to go get the rune store opened up so I can get some cosmics and get the amulet of magic. 
But we got an amulet of magic now, so that's a good a good magic boost. I'm going to be alking from those chests just to get back my money that I've spent. And then we're gonna go do Shades of Morton. That's what we're gonna do. Do I do I dump out these two Guam potions, unfinished potions, to make two Terramin ones for this quest? Or do I go find vials? I think I'm gonna empty them. Save me a lot of heartache. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I think you can actually find vials in Morton. I didn't want a chance that I needed them before I got there, you know? No! No, god damn it, no! There are two vials. No, oh, well. I wasted like 14 XP. Oh! Sucking the soul out of my body. I need 13 more damage. Oh my god. I might have to fucking tell you out of here. Oh, come on, hit a three. Let's go. Holy shit, that was close. I hope I don't have to kill anything else. What? Where do I get the shit for Shades of Morton? Like the timber beam and stuff like that. Where the fuck do I get that? Oh! I might just tell you out of here and go get more food. Jesus Christ. Oh shit! Problematic! Oh my god, why did I do that? Go in here. World hop. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, that sucks too. That sucks a lot of dicks. Holy shit. And now I need ashes. I don't have any fucking logs. God damn it. Does this guy sell an axe? Please. General store. Please be an axe. Oh, and then he swapped back to the fucking... Dang, you son of a bitch. I'm getting tired too. I wanna go. I wanna get off. Oh, I'm tired of walking back from fucking Barrack. Arise, chicken. Chicken, arise. Chicken. My wizard, my wizard. My motherfucking wizard. Wizards in Paris? All right, if I have to, if my sanctity reset, I am probably logging off and going to go cry in the shower. Oh boy, it reset. It's 11 o'clock. I got to go to bed. I'm done with this. God damn it, dude. That pisses me right the fuck off. Man, well, it's a new day. I logged on and uh, I forgot that I was doing this quest. So, that's depressing. Um, but I'm feeling a little refreshed. I have to make another trip back to Varrock. I know that because I need to. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, my fuck me, dude. Fuck me. I didn't need to do that. Why did I do that? I have these fucking sand, the serums in my inventory. Holy shit. I could not blunder this more. This takes so long because of how fucking stupid I am. You know what? I'm going to spend a little bit of time getting like, I'm just going to get a good chunk of change at, at the, at the ham hideout. Because I'm going to buy that flame tear hammer. It's going to make my life a lot easier during this quest and during the grind anyways. So since I've been running back and forth so much, I might as well just take a break. Get level headed again. And then tackle it head on and hopefully make less mistakes. Made a couple K while doing this so far and got a, slate, got a magic level. Okay, cool. I'm going to keep going for a little bit, get a little bit more money with these low elves. I have plenty of runes, so chilling. All right. I should have everything I need, so let's uh, make the walk back down. All right. We bought a flame tear hammer or a flame tear or flame tear, whatever. 
It's supposed to give you a 75% boost. Oh, yeah. It's already so much better. All right. It took me 12 minutes to do, but in total, it took me like over an hour because of all the fuck-ups I had and all the mess-ups and screw-ups and runs from Varrock. I'm just happy it's done. And and we have the minigame teleport here, so that'll be an easy walk to Baros when I can do that, and I do it once every like 15 minutes, so nice. Feels good. All right. Plan of attack here. We're going to be doing quests. I'm going to do In Search of Myrkey, or however you say it, and uh, In Aid of Myrkey. That way I have access to Burge de Rot, and having access to Burge de Rot will give me a bank. Yeah, that's all I'm planning ahead. That's the only, that's, that's, that's it. That's as far as I'm planning ahead. So, I'll let you know when anything interesting happens. All right, steel long sword here. Oh, I need two steel swords, a steel long sword, um, steel nails. I'll get on the way back. Five charges in the druid pouches, um, and then steel mace in Falador and the warhammer. I'm gonna get from killing guards in Burthorpe. I think the only thing that I'll struggle with is the Mithril Bar, but I will figure something out for that because I have pretty much everything. Oh my god. I want to give you an herb. Stay with me, please. Please. I'm, I'm hurrying. I can get you a bomb. Just don't, don't leave yet. Talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Um, I've, I've done a little research on the Mithril Bar issue. Um, I think I'm going to go try to get them right after this. Because I'm over here. And it's a decent drop. The rate's not too bad. It's not great. Pretty sure I can save spot these guys. Pretty sure. Don't really know. I'm kind of just hoping I can. I don't think I can say this about these guys. We'll see what happens. If I got a Mithril Bar off that kill, I think I got 350 points. I do have a plan B, but I could be at plan B for a while. Although, I would have been there for a while anyways. It took like, it took like four minutes to get a kill. So we're going to kill these guards. Um, I found this little safe spot. It's not a great one, but I don't take any damage, so that's nice. 29 range. The steel warhammers are 1 in 16, so hopefully it won't be an issue. But, uh, if I really wanted to, we could get 50, 50 smithing. I don't want to do that at all. There's another one inside that I feel like I could pretty easily save spot somehow sure there's a way <laughs> never mind we don't have to be there we don't have to be here anymore though <laughs> i got i got the steel war hammer cool <laughs> all right two kills nice the only other option i have is to kill these soldiers that i'm nearby and they have a chance at dropping a mithra bar to 128 so maybe we see how long this takes to kill them and then if it takes too long i could just go and do a little bit of long shades of Morton. I'm going to sit here for a little bit, mess around on my main, and think about this. Think about the plan of attack. This is actually super chill. So I think I'm going to be here for a little bit and uh, play around on my main. I haven't done much on my main since I started this account. So boom, attack him. He'll save spot on the chair, and then I can go about my business. So yeah, maybe we will get the Mithril Bar here. All right, check that out. Mithril Bar, and we got it in 42 kills, and honestly, this was not bad. I think all I have to do is go fishing now, which I want to do anyways. So I don't No, I know what I'm thinking of. I don't want to do it. It's It takes like an hour and a half. God, you're a cunt. <laughs>
Shield of Arav is a Grandmaster length quest. That's true. And I don't want to do it. I'm lighting fires. So I was talked into just getting my fishing F through fishing contest. Or not fishing contest. Through uh, Sea Slug. Which is a viable, viable point. I should do that because 30 fire making is super easy to get. And I still have a bunch of logs for Shades of Morton. Boy, look at this beast. I don't know why I never changed his cosmetics, but I'd like to, I'd like to change his look. I just don't want to spend the money on it right now. Let's swamp tar. Oh, shit. I actually might have a pot of flour in my bank. I can just use it on a fire. Okay. Look at that. I already teleported and there's a fucking range right there. I knew there was. A what? I needed a range and I got one. Ah, oh, fuck. Quick, Never yeah. mind. I need a fire. Oh, wait. There's a fireplace. Oh, that's going to be a cooking pot, though. Why don't you just... Oh, let's go! go All right. Ahead. All right, sea slug is completed, so that's going to be good enough. 24 clutch, and then uh, let's go get some mackerels. Ugh. I stayed up way too late last night. Just fishing. I'm going to get this last level, and then I'm going to go finish the aids of myarchy because we got everything we need um the aids of myarchy main reason why i wanted to fish was just so i had food i, I didn't want to go steal cakes it's more sustainable this way there we go that took no time at all whoever put this here whoever did that and decided that it'd be funny no so we went and got the drip. Frog leather does look good. It for being as low level it is as it is, it does look pretty decent. We might have to go cover this shiny bald head though. Sheesh. All right. Well, now we gotta figure out how to fucking safe spot this thing. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We've safe spotted successfully. I did not expect to fight it right away. I forgot when you fight it. And I was walking in the tunnel. I was like, maybe I should go get more food. And I was like, nah. Quest Helper would tell me if I should go get more food or not. Uh, Quest Helper indeed did not tell me if I should go get more food or not. But we're chilling. We figured out a safe spot. The Hellhound's killed, and we've got some XP rewards. Now it's in aid of Meyer Keys, the next quest we're going to be starting. This was the moment of, of truth, whether or not I needed to go get snails or mackerels, because I have mackerels in the bank, and luckily, I only needed to go get mackerels, so I already got those. But I do have to run back to a bank, so. Uh, tips for irons, I don't know. I, I, it's probably common knowledge, but if you are watching this and you're like, maybe I should just start playing the game and not worrying about being super efficient. When you're doing in search for Myarchy, you can just buy swamp paste from here. You can also get like, you'll need swamp paste for other things. It's really easy to make. It's just flour and swamp tar and then you use it on a fire, but you can just buy it from here for super cheap anyways. But you have to do it after Shades of Morton. Otherwise, if you don't do it after Shades of Morton, you won't be able to use the store. Pretty sure I gotta fight somebody. <laughs> All right, <laughs> maybe I'm gonna flinch him. This might be a long fight. Nice, tons of zeros. Love to see that. Oh man, <laughs> hit him! <laughs> hit like a six, a four. Hit a four. Max hit a four. Holy shit. Oh. You got one. All you got to do is spend 10 minutes on the first kill. 
<laughs> you saw it. As long as this guy doesn't die, I think I'm chilling. Oh, bastard. <laughs> He only has 20 health. Come on, hit him. He can hit harder than me, though, and I don't have any food. Otherwise, I'd tank him, but I don't have any food, so I don't want to risk it right now. Let's go. Easy. Easy. Should I bait the title with, like, hardest boss fight yet? All I know is we're looking kind of like a beast right now. I think I might be a med helm type of guy. It's just, it looks too good, you know? What do I gotta tell? They're all in the same room. Can't we just yell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We are not ready for this. We are not ready for that. All right, we're gonna try this again. I gave him a silver sickle. So we came back and um, I picked up some steel chain body and plate legs. I don't think I can get a med helm. I think this should be enough. Just giving him the plate, the chain body and the plate legs and the silver sickle. I think, I think he should be able to survive. So we'll see. Attempt number four. All right. I don't think I can do this at my current combat level. I think I got to get... I gotta get my strength up a little bit, raise my max hit. I'm gonna go train for a little bit. I'm gonna go AFK something. New idea. It's something I did not know about until just now. I did not know that this shop existed. Apparently under here is a crossbow shop. Oh no. Oh, fishing contest? Easy, Let's. we can do this quest now. All right, fishing contest done. Let me go down there now. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> I, I bet the wiki told me that too. <laughs> I thought this was new tech. Holy shit. Uh, I'm going to try this one more time with the, uh, instead of the silver sickle, I'm going to use wolf's bane because it actually gives me a better, gives me better strength bonus than the sickle. So we're going to try it one more time with that, and and we'll see what happens. All right, he's out of there. We're going to go to Lumbridge. <clears throat> I'm going to go sit at Rock Crabs for a while. We'd done a bit of off-camera training at Sand Crabs. Ordery attack, which we already had, but I got 45 strength and 37 defense, so I can take a few more hits. And uh, I wanted to raise my max hit. I think my max hit before was a four, so we got it up to six. And um, hopefully that'll do enough to kill these things. It's either go back to sand crabs or go with plan. We're on like plan F at this point. We gotta be. I'm trying to do this quest at such a low level is tough. I didn't think it'd be this annoying. He just takes so much damage. He needs to stop being a little pussy about it. Like what, you never been hit by a vampire before? No, we're gonna try Route 1. I think the DPS might be lower. I don't know. We'll find out. He's getting ripped. <laughs> He's getting out of here. I didn't want to resort to this. But we have one more grind I can do. That could maybe make this possible. Maybe. Like, the very... Very maybe. Although... Why am I doing this? <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> I just... <laughs> what the fuck am I trying so hard for this quest? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, fuck this. I'm gonna go do what I wanted to do, with what we started this whole journey for. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Why am I doing this? 
Holy shit. Now, because of this quest, I have no money. And uh, it's taken me up until now to realize the whole reason why I did this quest line was so I could unlock the bank in Burj Durat. I've got that done. I got that done with the last quest. All right, I'm going to go do some prep to make this as smooth as possible. Seven kills. Got this one at three KC. This one took a little bit longer because my kills were a lot slower, and I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to do the next one. We got that one at 10 kills. It's looking bright. As long as I can find a safe spot, I got 310 bone bolts to play with, so we'll see what happens. Fucking, that guy's scary. You don't need to be standing there, man. Go away. 10 kills, and we got it from Iron Q's. So that should be the whole staff. Now I just have to go back to Lumbridge. I should have brought the other ones. I don't know why I banked them. But we can just home telly because we're out of aggro. And I'm pretty sure we take it to the bozo in there and get it imbued. All right. So now we have the imbued scepter, and we should. Wait. Yep, we can auto cast crumble undead. Oh man, this gives a lot. <laughs> if my math is correct, then this last book that I'm grabbing is the last book that I need before I get 39. And by math, I mean complete guess. I have no fucking idea if this will actually get me to 39 or not. It just looks like it does. It just looks promising. No! No! I need, I need one more book. God damn it. No! My math was not correct. Here, here. This guy's gonna, he's gonna ask for one of the books that I got. Look at that. Boom. Alright, now we can do Crumble Undead. Oh yeah, spending that time to get Crumble Undead was well worth it max hit of 15 or something like that i think my max hit with melee is like eight i just had to tell you out of shades of morton because um <laughs> for hell that was close i almost got the burge to rot and i was like i'll risk it and then uh i risked it and about shit my pants at one silver key and i got the flame tear bag which holds a bunch of resources so that's nice that'll make life a little easier and then i got fine cloth i think i'm actually going to be trying to save up money to get split bark i doubt that i'll get the crafting level for it maybe i could yeah the crafting level for it would take a little while but uh i'd probably be able to get the money a lot faster yeah, i'm just doing a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of this yeah, she stood no chance. I'm going to grab a few of these. I think you need multiple. Actually, I need multiple. Lost City completed. So now that we got Shades of Morton done, we have some new goals. I do want to get an aid of Myerky done. Um, and I think I have a way to do that. I'm in the middle of Fairy Pale 1. And I'd like to also get Fairy Tale Part 2 started just so I can use Fairy Rings. It'd make my life a lot easier. I want to get an Ada Myrky done because then I can do the escorts through the swamps and get herbs. I think it's like a 1 in 3 chance for a reward token to give you Terramin. I'd like to do that so I can get 30 Herbler, which is only 8 levels. It should be pretty quick. And then... I need to get 46 Hunter, which honestly, I love Hunter. For some reason, I think it's a fun skill. And then 27 Construction. That's the plan. That's what we're going to do. We're going to finish Fairy Tale Part 1 right now. And by right now, I mean it'll cut to the end of the quest, probably. You guys will experience me fi finishing it, like, right now. I, I will finish it in, like, probably 45 minutes because I got the worst draw on the items that I need. Oh, look at that beast. God damn, <laughs> what a beast. That's no way. It's gotta be like 48. What is it? 
63? It's not even that good of a shortcut. I mean, I guess... No, fuck that. I'm not... No, I'm not convinced it's, that's a great shortcut. 63 seems kind of steep. Dusty key acquired. Alright, we got the blue dragon scales, and now we're heading out. I probably should have grabbed multiple, because it's going to suck if I fuck up and I need another one. So... I have to get a proboscis from a mosquito, which is, you get them from Paibawana. I grabbed my mane, there he is right there, that beast. And, the fuck, what the fuck? I gotta kill this guy. So, Dragon Felinax is not good, in case anyone wanted to know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I had to go get the old problem solver. Spec? Another little spec? He, fucking, he's tanking these. He's only getting chip damage. What's going on? <laughs> Dude. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm using a fucking bang. If you already have an account that's done it, you should be able to spawn in a mosquito. So we're going to keep whacking away at all this shit. Here we go. <clears throat> Nice. Proviscus. Cool. Alright. Now we can uh, take my main back to the GE. And I can continue questing. I got the proboscis. It's all I needed. So let's... Uh, what's the next item I need? It's... Uh, a Jangerberry. And that was the easiest one. It took the least amount of time. I just had to get here. Probably extend it right there too. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I thought he was too wide. Oh fuck! See, in my line of work, those are called pruners, not whatever these red coats call it. Secateur. Oi, bruv! You got a secateur? My rose bushels are getting rather big. Pruner. Clipper trimmer. Suck it to you. Alright. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Alright. Fairy tale part one complete. He has to go check his crops or something. So he won't have anything. You you won't be able to talk to him for literally five minutes. Um luckily for me, uh, that five minutes that I have to wait. Um, I'm going to go take a poop. So it's been about 14 minutes. I pooped and then bugged my girlfriend for 10 minutes. Actually, maybe I pooped and bugged my girlfriend for five minutes. You've unlocked the fairy ring. That's it. Should be that simple. Next, we're going to go finish in aid of my key. Uh, I have to go fish some salmon. And then I believe, I think we can do it. I think we can, as long as he has food. When, before, I was like, man, I swore to God I could give him food. And Quest Helper did not tell me to give him food. It, it didn't even tell me that I could. It just said chain body, plate legs, and helm, and a sickle. So, I am going to go get some salmon. And I think I can give him up to like 15. So... I want to do that. I want to just get some salmon and then go back and try again. All right. Here's the aid of my key setup. This is what we're doing. We're walking down there with the old studded chaps, frog leather body, amulet of defense. I'm switching it up. I'm going to be tanking hits, putting on my tank armor. Evan's not helping me at all. Also, this guy can't hit me for shit. Amulet of defense coming in. Ow. Help me out, buddy. Do some extra chip damage. Ivan's my thrall. Come on! Oh! That's right. I have really done it. Temple trekking. Huge, huge for the account. 
We're spending a little bit of money in prep for this temple trekking journey. I hate journey, but there's just no other word. Quest. I'm a knight. I'm I am a knight on a quest. I don't have darkness of hollow veil then. And with darkness of hollow veil, you get temple you get temple trekking back to Canopus. Uh, when when you arrive in Burj Darat, you can just temple trek back to Canopus. Chill, camels. These camels are crazy, dude. Should I just clickbait all of my hardcore Iron Man videos with my biggest upgrade yet? Value, 50 soul runes. Ooh, that hurts. That's crazy. That's such an expensive teleport. Let's calculate. In GP, each run is costing me 1,050 gold. So hopefully, we at least make 1,050 gold each time we do this. I really don't... I don't know the rewards too much. I've never done this on my main. Um, I thought this dude was... They're supposed to be here. Ugh. I've been mistaken. Not fun. Waste of runes. Oh, my heart. I can only temple trick out of Bergerot. This was not cash money moves. I still have things on my to-do list. I'm ending the episode here. The first video I uploaded for this series got 14 likes. That's 14. That's huge. If this one gets 15, let's say... A week after this uploads. I won't train any combat stats. I'll leave all this the same. I'm just going to be doing hunter. And construction. And getting some money. If this video gets 15 likes. I. I'll risk my hardcore status. On darkness of hollow veil. Vanstrom Klaus. Can hit a 16. I have 42 HP. He hits me he hits me five times. He does a total of 80 damage if he max hits every single time. Now, my other option is spend a lot of time trying to get 43 prayer through Shades of Morton. Don't really want to do that. Not at this combat level, it takes way too long. So that's gonna conclude this episode. If you watched this far, think about subscribing. And if you want to see me risk the account, drop a like on this video.